Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Victoria and today is going to be one absolutely huge massive Poundland haul. When I say Poundland it's actually one below. Um, so like some Poundlands, is it Poundlands? One of the pound shops shut down and where I live one below took over Poundland or whichever one shut down, Pound World maybe, I don't know. Um, so it's exactly the same. Most things are pound. When you go in, then you get caught with a one fifty, a two pound, a five pound, whatever. But the majority of things in here, this is more or less seventy one items. Let me tell you, there might be a couple of things that are a tiny bit more. But look at that list. Oh, hello, Betsy. <laughs> um, so it's all laid out here, ready to show you. Blue's showing off with his ball, obviously, because he does it every time I film. Also, the news is out, guys. I am 13 weeks pregnant today. Um, obviously, we waited for his 12-week scan and things like that, and everything's um, good so far. But anyway, all been well, everything's good. Um, I'm now 13 weeks, and I am actually... You can't really see in this, but if I tuck it under there... I am actually getting a bump basically is what I'm trying to say. This is my third child and I think I'm showing um, like way more than what I did do with the others. Maybe because it's my third or maybe because it's I'm older. I don't know. Anyway, enough waffling on and thank you all so much for the congratulations guys. It honestly means so much to me and I'm going to take you along obviously with the journey, with my pregnancy journey. Um, right, okay, one below, one below. If you want to see what I spent £71 on in one below, then keep on watching. Okay, so you guys know that I'm the most unorganised person ever. However, I've actually took everything out of the bags and it's in some form of organisation. What pregnancy is doing to me, guys? It's making me organised. So we've got homeware, and then basically it's all, well, this is Christmas, but like here, it's a tiny bit of like home and kitchen, maybe. And then here, it's like there, it's Christmas. So I hope you're ready for a big Christmas haul. <sighs> right, so I'll just show you basics at first. Toilet roll. Now, this was six toilet rolls, and I feel like that's super duper cheap if, um, if you got, if that was a pound for all six. Much, much, much later. Okay, I can't find it. The list is way too long to look. But either way, I think it would be a pound or one pound fifty. But I'm quite convinced that it's a pound. I just got some hairspray. This I don't know if you guys are too far back, you know. Let me try and bring you forward. Okay, that seems so much better. Mm. So where was I? Um, I think it was the hairspray. Oh no. <laughs> Apparently it's dry shampoo, guys. I thought it was hairspray. Never mind, I'm sure dry shampoo will come in handy when I'm pregnant. And obviously I ain't got time or energy more um, to wash my hair. So now I can just dry shampoo it. Um, it actually feels half empty as well. So I don't know if that's like a standard thing. Or... I've actually washed my hair as well. I don't know why I'm putting it in now. Whoa, what, what have I just done? Oh, it smells nice though. Cactus water with cactus water and coconut. So there's my hairspray, which isn't actually hairspray, guys. And oh god, what have I done here? Okay, we're just gonna have to live with this piece of air for now. So that was a pal. I just got some Parazone 8 Fizz tablets. So I believe you put these in um, the toilet, do you know, like at the bottom, and then it cleans all the bottom part of the toilet. Um, I've not used them before, I just thought I'll give them a try and see what they're like. It does say it removes 100% of lime scale overnight. So I'm assuming you put it in at night time, leave it overnight. Oh. It's dissolved and cleaned it. It's also good enough for the queen, ladies and gentlemen. So it's good enough for me. And that was a pound. I just got two toothpastes. Um, I got sensitive because my teeth are really sensitive. And I don't think anyone else's is, but I see. I think it's pointless buying different kinds of toothpastes when, you know, we all just might as well have the same one. Do you know what I mean? Toothpaste is toothpaste really, but I do need sensitive. Um, I got two because obviously there's my and Chris's ensuite and then there's a the family bathroom where all the kids go. 
so I just got like the refill of them then so if you know me you'll know that I use um or probably anyone that's followed Mrs Hinge we use um, like a spray bottle and put either Zafloir in and then water or fabric conditioner and then water um, which I've got them all around the house I have to say but this one's glass and this was actually £1.25 I remember that and actually on the receipt it was £71.25 and that's down to this little guy but um, I think it's quite classy with it being glass and what I might do is get like a printed sticker to like put on say um, Zaflora <laughs> I don't know but you know what I mean like a nice little fancy lettered sticker to go around there so it's kind of one that can go on show if you will so I'm really pleased with that one right I think that's oh no some more toilet cleaners apparently I don't know about these so I've got three of these little guys like I said I don't know why well, I'm guessing I do, because we've obviously got three toilets, but then I must have forgot I just bought them. So these, it's, oh, so these are different, that's why. So these, it says you drop into the cistern, which is like the thing behind your toilet, isn't it, with the lid on. So you unscrew the, unless you've got a flusher, you unscrew the centre part, lift it up, and then put it in, but like that's a block. Do you know what I mean? You don't put the glass in, surely. Oh, okay, you might do. So it says, remove the paper wrap whilst wearing gloves. Unscrew the lid. Oops. Oh no, it's all right, there's a lid on top, guys. Unscrew the lid and remove the plastic cover. So that's, oh no, that's the plastic cover on top. Replace the lid and place it in the toilet system. Oh, I'm excited about this. So you literally take the wrapper off, the plastic lid off. And you put it in your toilet, in the system bit at the top. I'm excited to try that. I wonder, is it going to turn my water blue? Is it going to clean it? What, what's what's crap? What's going to happen? Right, I'm trying to keep space as I'm going here. So before I go into the few food bits, um, I got this like little rubber brush, silicone, silicone pastry brush. Um, I got this because I've started making... Uh, I'm going to say the kids, but it's Chris and Lydia. They love um, barbecue drumsticks. So I like do all this long thing, like marin marinate them, soak them, da, da 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 But you also need to put barbecue sauce on. And I, I didn't have anything to like brush it on. So basically, this is why I've bought this, but I'm sure it'll come into use for other things. But now I can brush the barbecue sauce on with that rather than using the back of a spoon. So that's why I got that. Um, I've got these two actually, more because they're aesthetically pleasing. So this one is a body buffer. And I just think if you know, if you've seen my house style, you'll see like the style I'm going for in the bathroom. It's like this, I can say beige, but like boho kind of eco, boho meets eco maybe, um, style. So I don't know if it'll get used or not, but I want one of the um, bath shelf things i just not found the right one that i like but when i do get the right one this little guy will be going on that and then this one is a backwash belt so this says it's ideal for exfoliating and washing hard to reach places again this might get used i don't know but either way i might have it just sat in a corner on the shelf or hung up somewhere i don't know yet i've not figured it out but for a pound for each of them, I thought that was really good because if you guys know, this kind of style and vibe is really expensive right now. Oh, so that's them. Um, so I've got two shampoos, one for the kids' bathroom, one for our bathroom. They are exactly the same, but they're quite good because, so the new, and it's the Alberto Balsam, is that how you say it? But the scent is made me buy it, to be honest. It's um, coconut milk and sandal wood. So to me, that's like winter and Christmas scent. Oh, do you know? Oh, that's edible. It's not edible, but it smells edible. That actually smells really good. You can just more or less get coconut, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to use that. So I've just got two of them. 
I've got a hair mask because in pregnancy, most people's hair grows. Let me know guys, if you've been pregnant before, does your hair grow or does it fall out? Because I've heard both sides um, and I won't looking forward to that. Comment down below and let me know if you've got good hair growth in pregnancy or bad hair growth. So I'm trying to avoid the bad hair growth, but because I bleach my hair, it is quite thin already. So I just got this hydrating hair mask with argan oil in it. It can only do it any good. It's a pound, it's worth a try. I just got two little cute face masks. These will be going away to Santa for someone. Um, I woof this facial mask. I meow this facial mask. So I don't know if the shape, oops. Are the shapes like something or they've got dog prints on? I don't know. Um, but it's just one of them. Oh, it is. It's like, uh, this one's a dog, shaped like a dog with the eyes cut out. Oh, and this one's shaped like a cat with the eyes cut out. So they're cute. Um, you just put them on, whack them on, leave them for five, ten minutes. But I know someone that were asking for some of these not long ago. So they'll be going to Santa, right? Oh, a bit of food, and then we're on to Christmas stuff. I always pick up chocolate bars when I go to Poundland because they're far for a pound, and they're your big, decent, chunky size ones. So I've got four white chocolate chunky Kit Kats, four toffee crisps. These do seem a bit smaller, but they're still really good for the price. So for them, I have to get these ones. Although, you know what, guys? In this pregnancy, I've gone off chocolate. So like I said, 13 weeks. And the day that I literally found out is the day I stopped eating chocolate. I mean, everyone's like, oh, that's good, isn't it? I'm like, no, because I'm eating cheese and potato. But this sounds really appealing to me. This might be what breaks my chocolate aversion. Aversion, aversion, whatever the word is. This might be the one. Because this is normal toffee crisp, but with orange in it. And I love chocolate orange. This might be the one, guys. I'll keep you updated. So that's the chocolate. And then I also just got the kids some of these. Where's my elf? Basically, chocolate safari biscuits. But the where's my elf instead. Um, <clears throat> bottle of Fanta. Because I'm loving Fizzy Pop right now as well. Which isn't too good. But I just needed to get one. And then these are my mum's birthday presents, actually. I know she doesn't watch my channel because that's mum's for you. But um, so for my mum's birthday present, I've already got her. In fact, I'm not saying what I've actually got her in case she might watch on the other occasion. But so to top up what I've bought her, I've got her this Gullivian, Gullian, 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 Belgian chocolate. She loves Belgian chocolate. So they're just seahorses as normal and the caramel truffle. She's going to love them. And because they're only pounds, so like a pound each, I've got that one. I've got a little milk tray as well. And then I know she likes mint chocolate, so I've just got a little tube of after eights. And these look quite nice, actually, because they come like a munchies, you know, like in a tiny square. So you could just have a, a little, like, one or two nibbles and then put them back. So I've got my mum there. And I believe we're on to the Christmas stuff, guys. Get this blooming receipt out at work. It's that long, it's everywhere. Right, we are Christmas time. I'll show you these at first, as these were £1.50. But let me tell you, that's bloody good for £1.50. So I did get two. Last year, if you watch my, God knows what it was, named under last year, Christmas gift ideas or whatever, I don't know. I did quite a few hampers last year. And um, I'm gonna, the idea is I'm gonna do a few hampers again. For instance, you see, you see? Um, so they're gonna go towards hampers, but if you guys know hamper baskets are usually between five and 10 pound, and these are one pound 50. And honestly, I can't rate these enough. I'm not even kidding. You just need a bit of like tissue paper in the middle or the shredded paper. Or you can even use like a bit of Christmas wrapping paper if you wanted, like some red foil one or gold foil. You could make it how you want, or as cheap as you want, or as expensive as you want. One pound fifty, guys. Add one out and get them. Right. God, I literally don't know where to go. 
So talking about like decoration, I've got some ribbon. I've got two of these, so I'll bob one down. And it's like got, so it's brown hessian, that's the word, isn't it? Hessian, and it's like, um, got them snowflakes on. Why could I not think of snowflakes right then? And it's got little cute snowflakes going all the way around. And like I say, I did get two of them because I don't know if I'm going to use them on presents or if I'm actually going to use them as decorations to go around the tree. Or I'm after um, like an arch tree. And I thought these would look really nice to like go around the arch tree maybe as well. Either way, I got two and I really like them. And the 2.75 metres by 5 centimetres, that's actually really good. 2.75 metres. I know, Blue, that's a lot, isn't it? Bargain. So pleased I got two of them. Then I got this, which obviously is similar to that, but this is actually, it's called Holly Wire. So it's Holly on a wire, I guess. It's quite self-explanatory. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm imagining some kind of decoration in the house and then this can go around it. Again, it could do decorations for candles, things like that. It could be for arts and crafts for Christmas. It could be to put around presents. It could be to go around a tree or a tree arch. It's unlimited what you can do with it. And that was a pound as well. I kind of wish I'd have got two of them. And again, that's 2.75 meters, guys. Oh God, do you know, I'm not surprised I spent 71 pound. I also need a quick drink, two minutes. Right, we'll do the gonks, I think. So guys, if you know me, you know I love a gonk. Halloween gonk, autumn gonk, Christmas gonk, summer gonk. Gonk, 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 basically. I just think they're super cute. Poundland, one below, has now got them in. So I stocked up on my gonks. I thought this little guy was quite cute. And he's actually, um, I'm just gonna read it, but he's actually a hanging one and just a hanging gonk. So I don't know if it's for your tree or what, but I'll probably just randomly stick him on wall or something here. I will, but you know what I mean. And then, so this one's gray and red and white. And then this one's just a white one with a snowflake on. Don't get me wrong, they're made cheaply. You can feel glue on them, but they're a pound and there won't be a pound in home sense, let's just say that. But them little guys are so cute and they'll be hanging somewhere very soon, actually. Also, guys, I've put this big blooming, it's nice. It was from Pretty Little Thing last winter and I put it on today. And it must be like 15 degrees today and I'm literally sweating and melting in it. Kind of wish I didn't have it on. Anyway, so gonk still. So we've got this little geezer here with his little long beard. Is that a bit? Oh, yeah, we had a bit of a, a bit of an extra beard there. There we go. So we've got him. I think he was a pound as well. Oh my God, his beard's dropping off left, right and centre. He's going to be bald soon. So got that one as well. Then this one was a little bit more expensive. In fact, this might have even been two pounds or something. I can't remember. But I just love that it's like a knitted kind of pattern. You know, you can tell this one costs more than this one or then straight away. You can tell it's better quality. And I just think it's super cute with a little knitted pattern. And that's literally called a knitted gonk. Then I was a little bit gutted about this, guys. I'm not going to lie. I bought three of these. Only two made it to this haul. <laughs> so if you are going to get a gonk like this, please be careful. I was literally showing kids, I was so excited and I was like, oh my God, look at these. And I pulled them out and one fell on, on this worktop and it's like, Kh. and I'm like, no, I wanted three. I can go back and get another one if I want, but it might just be a, a duo act now instead. But they're super cute. They've got like a tinsel, um, I wouldn't say lid, hood, <laughs> hat, gnome hat, um, a tinsel one. And it's little nose is showing, but as you can see, like pot here, but it's very, very fragile pot. Bear that in mind if you're gonna get one of those. Um, oh my gosh, so much. So then, now I don't know if these are for the tree or what, but I've got a different idea. So I'll show you these two first, cause they're the same. 
Oh, we're tangled. So I've got these two. I'll bob one down. And it's like frosted in the middle and then kind of clear um, on the outside there. So like I said, I've got two of those. It just says silver and white glaze snowflake, but it does come with a hanging thing. So like above my Pio French doors, I have three hooks, which I hung like Halloween skeletons and things like that on. So what I thought was well, one of these at one side, the same at the other side. And then in the middle, what about this one? Like it's, this is like a bigger one to the other two and it's just plain white and it's sparkly. I don't know if you can see it sparkles. Um, but that's a little bit bigger. So these at the side and this one in the middle, just to go over the French doors. Oh, right, I hope you're not bored of me talking guys, because we're probably only halfway in. <laughs> right, I've got three of these. Some may say they're tacky. Yes, they probably are tacky. Um, but they're just like little cute tinsel trees and like hollow like this. But I got these for one of the kids' bedrooms. Well, not one. To go in each of the kids' bedrooms, I should have said. So none of them's missing out and they haven't got anything too dramatic in the bedroom because there's nothing worse than having trees up in every room and having to take trees down in every room. So now we can just have one of these. Don't know why I didn't get me and Chris one for our room. I need to go back, guys. <laughs> Not telling Chris. So this, I personally think, was another great bargain. I've lost the tag somewhere, but I know it was a pound. And I think it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine. And they're all little tiny different wreaths. So again, you could maybe tie it up at that side and leave it as one big thick one. Or this could be an arts and crafts wreath. It could do nine arts and crafts. Um, I've got loads of stuff coming up, arts and crafts, uh, which will be just perfect for stuff like this. Um, you make it what you want. You could wrap the um, this around it if you wanted. Make it into your own little cute one. There could be little Christmas gifts for like family members, for your kids to make. You could put, that's a bit random, you could put that round. Can literally do what you want and you get like i say nine of these for one pound again i wish i'd have got more it's good if i didn't because i don't need 20 little tiny wreaths um uh and then look at this so i thought this was so cute just to go around a candle you know like um a christmas candle like yankee kind of candle in the middle and they literally just slot this over the top it's called, oh, it's actually called a berry wreath. So it's meant for hanging somewhere. Oh, it's a bit bald at that side. So that probably needs to be hung. So it's actually a hanging wreath. But personally, I think I'm going to put it around a candle to make like a little candle look Christmassy. And again, that's a pound. I've got these two cookie cutters. Now, make no mistake, I'm no chef. But me and Lydia started doing a little bit more together, a little bit more baking. Now we're in his new house, his kitchen's way bigger. So we've got way more space to do things. Um, so we are trying his hands a few little bits. I might even do, um, I've been making cheesecakes and stuff like that, but I might even make like bun shapes like this. Obviously I need bun shaped holder things, but hey, one below is probably gonna get him in at some point, hon, don't you worry. So these are cookie cutters. I do sometimes cut Lydia's sandwiches out with cookie cutters. She goes mad at me at school, but I think it's cute. So they were a pound as well. Um, we'll do the stickers. So this is just a window sticker. I think this will go on the French dart as well, because we had like a Halloween window sticker on there before. And it's like obviously a snowman with some cute little snowflakes and cute things everywhere it's got some stickers because i bought some little christmas cards to make and design your own so i thought you can put some of these stickers on with the christmas cards how many do you get so you get 15 cards with 15 envelopes and i thought that's way more than enough for like you know family like grandma granddad aunties uncles 15 is plenty off my family anyway. <laughs> um, so she's got the stickers to put on this, but also 
got all sorts here. So like I showed you earlier, we've got the candy stripe pipe cleaners. I'm obsessed with them because I want to do something red and white this year. I've not done it, but I quite like the candy canes and the big barbells and things like that. So I'm going to try and do something like that this year. We've got these little leaves and berries and crafts. So a little pack, like a three pack, if you will, of all these. They're the leaves, berries. They could go on the cards, they could go on the wreaths. We've got the snowflake sequins. Again, cards probably can't go on the wreaths, but that's a good, decent pack of snowflakes as well for a pound. Santa's hearts, how cute is this? So with the Christmas cards, you could even get a picture of, say, your pet or your child or your baby, whatever, and then you could stick the photo on the card and put a little hat on top of that. These are cute. Look at these mini wreaths. So it is a six pack. So again, Christmas cards, arts and crafts. I really, really like these actually. I'm super excited to do them with Lydia. More stickers. I got carried away, guys. The arts and crafts there were amazing for Christmas. Glitter tree foam stickers. Again, for the Christmas cards. Um, she could even make them for school, actually. I could get some more for a schoolmate. God, it's going to be another £70 blooming pound land all next week, isn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, different kinds of shapes um, of Christmas trees as well. And they're from stickers. Apparently, I got two packs of Santa's hats. You only get six in a pack, so I can kind of see why I did that. Now, these are probably one of my favourite things for arts and crafts. Um, it says a jumbo assortment of stars, snowflakes, trees and presents and more. Look at that gingerbread, ma'am. Oh my God, he's got jewels going down him as well. <gasps> I'm so excited. Lydia just said, for Christmas, mum, can we get your hot glue gun out and can we do some arts and crafts? I'm like, perfect. We'll make Christmas cards for everyone um, and stick things on with the hot glue gun. But I'm so excited. Look at this pack. That's a pound, guys. You have no laugh. That was a pound. We're nearly there now, I'll be honest. Um, so we've got some craft. In fact, let me bring you closer for these last few bits. Got this craft wire. Um, so it's like almost like twine. I don't know. I can't, don't know how to explain it. But um, I just thought that might be cute to wrap presents up in, maybe. Little velvet, red velvet bows because I need to get in there so you get six in here because like I say I'm wanting something red and white this Christmas I am wanting the Christmas arch and I'm wanting to do it red and white whether that happens or not I'm not sure because the only arch we've seen is £200 so maybe it might not go forward we'll have to see if any guys know where to sell Christmas tree arches and it's a little bit cheaper than £200 please comment and let me know I really want one but I really don't want to pay £200 either so we've got six of them cute little bows. If they don't end up going on a tree or an arch, they can go for arts and crafts again. Got some little snow confetti. So basically this is the horrible stuff, but it looks really good for Christmas, but it gets everywhere. Um, so we have a Christmas village. It's basically just to scatter around as Christmas village. Then some more kind of arts and crafts. I've got his own barbell. So these are six uh, polystyrene normal circle barbells. And these are six polystyrene stars. Um, just again, to paint, decorate, put glitter on, put blooming hats on if you want. Put what you want on, hun. Just have fun. Um, so she'll be, oh, you can paint. Did I say paint? Um, so she'll be excited to do them. Um, so around Christmas time, I've always liked to do a bit of a buffet, but now we've obviously got this like hosting kitchen as everyone calls it. So we've got the island in the middle. We will be doing a kind of family buffet. Um, so I just needed to get these crisp white. No, you didn't need to get my white. I did, I did need to get them. I've got two little gonk plates. I am a bit good because I've chipped. Oh, I thought I chipped. <gasps> Not only would I have chipped when I'd have broke it completely then, there it is. So I've chipped this little guy here, so I'm a little bit 
dried about that but it's all good it's not it's not very obvious I, mean, I might put cheese on it to hide it you know but anyway how cute are these little gong plates one pound fifty each these were one pound fifty but i'll tell you what i'm gonna say they're really good which they are but they're very chippable as well <laughs> so just be careful with them but i'm so excited to use them right now last little four items they're all kind of the same this is probably going to be my longest pound land haul ever in my entire life so like i said i have a christmas village and i also like little people scattered around in it i have actually bought a train set as well for it from the garden center so that's in lounge waiting for that so i've got some little people to add to my christmas village this little guy is dropping a present off this lady's either hanging a wreath or just walking the street with a wreath. This is a cute little sign and it says Christmas trees for sale. I'm just, honestly, I just can't, my heart breaks. Look at these, it's so cute. And then look at this one. Oh, the sun's in it. When I say sun, it's not sunny, but the tiny bit of light outside is shining on it. There's like three little guys playing making a snowman and having a snowball fight and let me tell you i bought a load of these last year year before from the garden center and they were not one pound each i think they're like eight or nine pound each so if you fancy doing a christmas village and like a scene 100 percent recommend you go to the pound shop and get these little ones because honestly they look exactly the same as garden center ones i'm not even gonna lie right guys don't worry i'm actually done i really hope you got like a cup or something to sit down with this because i should have pre-warned you really shouldn't i thank you so much for watching and if you made it to this point then thanks well done because that's a long ass video right guys um i hope you enjoyed it there's gonna be i'm sure there's gonna be plenty more christmas poundland hauls come in i mentioned about six items i want to replace already i'll get more off um so keep your eyes peeled for super duper more videos and now i'm definitely feeling better as i wasn't in my first trimester i am now so hopefully i'll go back to wednesday and sunday uploads as well as well as the vlog channel which we upload on about once or twice a week which i'll link down below and thank you again and i'll see you in my next video bye